Just me hyperventilating. <laughs> So it's like a little villages here and we have a bed we can do a little tour so you have our room is the bathroom and then you have another room here and it's so cute because there's a little place here and then we have a little the focus but we have a little kitchen so there's dining table and we have a tiny kitchen where we can just cook everything here is so villagey it's so cute and then this is gonna be the morning view like you can see the the mountains over there but well, this is where you enter and then right here we have a living space just like a little kind of a dining area like a lounging lounging then we have our guest pass. There we go. So this is our guest pass that kind of just allows us free transportation to like local areas. And then they gave us that. And chocolate. And then here is another view. Oh, so this view is even nicer as you guys can see like in the window. So this is our yard. And then it's so pretty. You can see. Okay, well, focus. You can see the mountains are right over there. It is Oh, I like this. Um, I personally like this better than Zurich. I just feel like Zurich is like so city and it's just like everything's there. Everything is just in Zurich is very city-like. You like shopping centers and just like taking pictures of like nice churches. But I feel like Interlaken is more so just like activities and the village area. And like as you can see up there. We're gonna go up to one of the mountains. As you can see, it's like it's like snowing there. Um, in Zurich, it was very hot. It was really like a little bit windy, as you can see. The wind. A little bit chillier, and I think we're gonna go change and get ready. And we will do. Some, I think we're just gonna explore, get some groceries. And yeah. Good morning. It is. I actually don't know what time it is. Um. It's something in the morning and... Are you vlogging me vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> and it's so pretty. And that's our view in the back. And then we have mountains in the back. So today we're gonna go to something called Top of Europe. It's like really, it's like... It's not the toppest thing in Europe, but it's gonna be really snowy. So all of us have like our jackets on. Cause it's gonna be really cold. But sweater. And then my make. And then I'll take you guys along with me to see the really nice things. We made it into and now we're gonna get on the gondola to bring us all the way up in the mountain. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. We made it to the first point and it's snowing. It's like snow here. Thank God I think thank goodness I wear boots, but here is the view. Oh I sunk down. But that's the view. Oh look how nice it is. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not too bad, but we're gonna go even more up. This is just the first stop because we took the gondola up, and the view is absolutely crazy. Can't believe something like this exists. Say Thank hi. You know. Like, 
like hello. Oh, it's like really black lit, so there it is. There's like, like whole absolutely amazing. I love it here. We're walking through the cave and it's really cold. So here's the map. Ooh, I saw this song. Oh, we could. What? We could put languages here? Yeah. Look at this cave. I'm touching the cave. It's so cool. It's actually really cool. We made it to. We made it to the top of Europe. And it's. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous up here. Like, look at all these glaciers. Absolutely so incredible. It's so cold. It's it's not cold, but it's definitely a little bit chilly. Definitely not like summertime, but it's so gorgeous up here. Oh, it's actual ice, guys. We get to the ice sculpture. Yeah. Everything is ice. This is ice? Yeah, I feel like it's ice. Oh. It's, a, it's like a whole ice sculpture. I don't know why I didn't realize. Oh, careful. So the whole floor is like ice. another mountain and it's so hot the top of Europe was so cold it's so hot but the views here look at that like it looks so big first it's not as cold as all the way up there but still a little bit breezy so I kind of took off my first layer and look here's the second thing um, I cried on the gondola up because it was very scary he was very <laughs> tall so there we go. Okay. but my lashes are still intact though I did cry uh, I don't know where exactly we're going. I think we're I'll hiking somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to get sick. And then, I'm, yeah, we might put, actually put the jackets back on. This is really cold. And then we're gonna go kart mountain down. Can you, Julia? But yeah, I'm gonna put on my clothes and catch y'all later. Here are the views. Guys, I I don't know how much can say about this view it's 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 so incredible and it looks so fake like it still looks fake to me like how is this real like how is this real like what blows my mind but yeah we're still hiking we're gonna hike up to this lake it's a little bit more up you ready? We're gonna hike up. The altitude makes it really hard to even hike. I think like a couple, even like 
a 10 minute, five minute walk is making me out of breath. 40 minutes. Oh no. I think I'm good with this. 40 minutes. Do you guys want to hike 40 minutes? No, let's go. Because I think the cable car is supposed to close at like stop. Change your plans. It's a, it's a 40 minute hike up. And with the altitude, it's really hard. We're just going to enjoy this view and that view and call it a day. But yeah, see you guys later. Now we're walking down the side of the cliff and it's very scary. Why am I vlogging? I don't know why I'm vlogging. This is very scary. Maybe this is not a good time to vlog. Bye guys. We made it back down and we're gonna get something to eat. Oh my god, funny story guys. Um, so we didn't know that it closed so early, like all the way up there. So they closed around 4.30. We didn't get up there until 4. But us being stupid Americans, we were just walking around. We're like, oh, there's like nobody here. Where is everyone? So we got like pretty much the whole experience to ourselves. And then after we kind of finished, we took a long time because we were like seeing this and seeing that and also taking photos. And then we're like, all right guys, we're done. And when we went to the cable car, it was closed. So we were like, I was freaking out because I didn't, I didn't see anyone. And then we finally saw someone and they're like, guys, you know it, the last cable car was like 4.30. And we, we got there around like five. We're like, oh, well, we didn't know. But like, thank goodness the employees were still there. But we, um, it was actually the last car too. So. It was sad. We, we we actually came down with the last employee who was gonna be working there, but if not, we would have to hike like all the way up there. We had to. We would have. We would have had to hike down if we missed that like last cable car. Just he was just so nice about. It. He was like, all right, fine. Like he'll let us. He'll let us down. So like we took it and everything. We couldn't do the cable carts because they closed at four thirty. We didn't. We didn't expect them to close so early. So. We'll probably come back another time to do but you see these views by me? I'm just so thankful that I did not have to hike down a mountain. That would have been not so good. It would have, I mean, the sun sets around 9, so we would have still had light for a couple of hours. But even going down, it would have been so hard to be. When we were on the cable cars going down, I actually saw so many people hiking. It was just crazy. So yes, if you ever were to visit Switzerland, Make sure to know when the last cable car is and when they close because you do not want to be stuck up there having to hike down. So yeah, and now we're gonna get something to eat and catch you guys later. Hello. It is currently, I don't even know, 1033 and we're heading over to Marin, us another city in Switzerland to Paraguide. You see all that? That's gonna be me. One, two, three. It's gonna be me. I don't know if you guys can see. What? Oh, sorry. No, I can see it. I don't think they can see us though. Oh. You know what? It is cool, but five bucks say I will cry. Actually, it's more of a guarantee that I will cry. It's actually really hot, but I'm actually scared that when it gets up there, it's gonna be windy. So I do have a windbreaker, and this is what I'm wearing because we do need to be comfy. I'm really scared. Oh. Me and Heidi don't do it. The altitude yesterday gave me a headache. Wasn't really feeling well. I took another ibuprofen this morning. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it looks pretty from up here. But to see that, I, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Not ready for this. Um, we met with our pilots. We're carrying our stuff up. You want to have a sip of good mountain water? <laughs> so scared. I'll be the stuff that we're gonna be on. And that's gonna be the view that we're paragliding. Um, I did ask him 
Like I told him, I was like, I'm so scared of heights. Like, <laughs> will I be okay? And he was like, yeah, you'll be fine. Cause he's also afraid of heights. My fellow instructor is also afraid of heights. But they were like, you'll be fine. Cause paragliding is different. You're just sitting, so. It's a 15 minute hike up to wherever we need to go, but. Let's just pray for me. Cause I'm so scared. Tiff, I'm so scared. Tiff, not bad. She's just like, I don't care. I'm gonna chill in. Everyone else is chilling, but me, Julia, how you doing? Okay, just me, hyperventilating. <laughs> Okay. I hiked up and we're really high. We're really fucking high. Um, ooh. We're really high, so you see. And they're setting up the paragliding. I don't know if I can do this. I think. Okay, you know, I got this. They're setting it up right now. And terrified. This fatigue. We actually hiked up. It's a 15 minute hike. It was a big hike. And now I'm scared. Yeah, we're okay. We're gonna catch. Catch. Look at that. Look at that. How do you feel? I'm so tired. <laughs> Dear Julia, how do you feel? I have never been better. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Stop singing. <laughs> okay, everyone is ready but me. I'm the only one that's not ready. You also right. took it. So I'm gonna prepare because once they are, I don't wanna be lying behind. I put my camera away so it's all safe. And good to go. Catch you guys. Probably catch you guys later. I might get some footage for paragliding, but we'll see. After Shirley, after going paragliding, it was it was nice. The takeoff and the landing was very easy and not scary at all. But I got motion sickness. Not fun. One is okay. I had to tell my instructor, can we go? Like we, I landed earlier. Good. Can we show up in your vlog? Of course. I'm kidding. Oh, actually, I look It was amazing. I do. It was amazing. How was it? The best. Not the best. Oh my Julia, how was it? We it was take amazing. A lot I of loved pictures it. here. Everyone, best I mean, experience. Best experience. Best experience. I mean, I had a great time. I had a good time. It was a really great experience. I highly recommend it. And the minute I landed, I ran over to the corner and I almost puked. Oh god. We're just gonna chill for a little bit, take some photos, and look at the view. We are at Lake Sun. The view is absolutely amazing. And I'm going kayak. In the lake. Okay. Probably see you guys in the water. But there's two swans preventing us. <laughs> it's either we hit the it's either we hit the swans or we stay on. Like right there. Those are the swans. And that's our exit. Oh. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? They're beautiful swans though. Just don't know how. You gotta have the public transport system everywhere. Hello. Yeah. It's hot. Yeah, that's one of the good things. As you can see, there. wearing this, wearing long sleeve, sweating. And we're going up to Heart of Kloom, another mountain top. It's a right here. The water looks so pretty. It's like I just wanna jump in if I knew how to swim.
We made it to the top of Harder Klum. This is the view. It looks so fake. I, I. You can get two to the lake. And it wasn't called out, but so pretty. Um, the other view is nicer. It's so nice. Um, trains run every 15 minutes. The view here is absolutely incredible. I still feel like everything here is fake, but to get the gist of it. Now we're just gonna explore. If it's 40 mi 45 minutes, I will stop it. <laughs> we're hiking? Hey, I think we did enough hiking today. Is there like a minute? It's just so crazy. Hello. Thank you. Hi guys! Paragliding is so fun. The part that I was the most afraid, um, the most afraid of, was probably the easiest thing. Um, I was so terrified of taking off and landing because taking off, I just that feeling that when you're like falling, like when you're on a roller coaster or whatever. Like I hate that feeling. That's why I don't do roller coasters. That's why I'm afraid of heights because of that falling feeling. It feels like someone's like taking my heart. But anyways. I did it. It was so easy. It was like one, two step and it was off. My instructor was really amazing because I told her, I was like, I'm scared. Like, I was so honest. I was like, I'm scared of heights. I'm scared. And he was like, I'm scared of heights too. I'm just like, but paragliding has nothing to do with heights. It's, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I wasn't motion sick. Like, when you're up there because you're like rocking and the wind, it's because also the, the altitude is really high. So I got really sick from it. The first few minutes was really fun. I got over my heap of my fear and it was just like really, really, really fun. But then, I think it was definitely a psychological thing because I, so I wasn't even thinking like what I was feeling was motion sickness. Like I didn't think that until he was like, are you okay and everything. He was like, oh, um, if, if you get motion sickness, just like pick some place like far away and look and you'll be good. And I was like, and in my mind, I was like, am I, am I, am I, am I motion sickness? Am I? Am I getting motion sickness? Like, and then I kept thinking that, and then I eventually got motion sickness. And I will show you guys the view that I'm looking at. Like, that is the view. Like, if it will focus, there we go. Like, do you see that that mountain right there? Like, that's insane. That's my view. And then there's more like mountains here. Good morning. We are on the bus. Hello, Dira. Hello. <laughs> um, we're on the bus and we are going to the Paranorma Bridge. It's the bridge where Yunzeri and Captain Ari met. Um, yeah, if you're not a Crash Life fan, you would not understand the word that I'm saying. But yeah, I downloaded the song, the piano scene, because we're also going to Israel. It's going to be a hour of bus ride. Catch you guys later. Oh. It's gonna be my last full day here, and I'm kind of, kind of sad. I'm kind of upset that these views. Well, that's it. I'm, I'm hoping to come back one day. But funny, funny story. We missed our bus stop, so <laughs> we had to get off quickly, and we had to walk, and we actually missed our connecting bus. But it's okay because it's gonna be in here in 20 minutes. But 20 minutes with these views, and like that view. And that view, like 20 minutes waiting here. Not the worst idea. Definitely not the worst. We made it to the bridge. Is that as scary? What? It's not that scary, actually. Tiff, please do not jump. Quite windy. Yeah, it's not me. I know it's just the wind. It's rocking the bridge. We made it to the 
the piano scene in Ijawat in Krasnodar. That's the scene. It's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous here. It took us a while to get here, but it's so gorgeous. See, they're taking photos because everybody knows. We we literally just came to Ijawat for a photo and now we're leaving. The bus runs every hour so we just Now down here it's not raining yet. So it's supposed to rain today. But anyways we literally came to Ijawat to took an hour bus ride just to get here. Just to see the piano scene from Crash Landing. Last day in Interlochen and actually my last full day. Um, my friends are actually headed to Paris after this, but it's my last, my last full day in Europe. Well, in Switzerland and for everyone else too, but I'm gonna, I'm really gonna miss this view. We made it to Bern in Switzerland. It is the capital city. We took a thing and it is hot here. It's about almost 90 degrees. And we're, I'm only staying here for half a day just because my flight is tomorrow morning. So I'm sad to leave, but this is a lot closer and we get to experience more of Switzerland. And we finished everything we want to do in interlocking like I mentioned before, but this is my view. It's so nice. They told us to be careful if you swim in here because look how the curtain is like, oof. Just to prove that I was here. Hello, it is hot. And we're gonna... You know, this is the first time I've ever stayed in a hostel where the bathrooms are outside. Like when I studied abroad, sometimes we would get hostels, but they always had like bathrooms inside. But somehow the bathrooms, so I go through here and the showers and bathrooms are there. But yeah, I don't recommend coming to Bern. Oh, I got my COVID test. I'm negative, so I can go back to the States. It was like pretty hard to find it and they stuck it up so far in like out of all the COVID tests I've ever had This was by far the worst because they went all the way up. I felt something up here Yeah, that's so good. Doing what the locos do, we did take away Thank you. We got Korean food And we're just kind of doing a picnic <laughs> 